Ooh, tell us. Oh, well, chapter two, The Exotic Stranger. Amelia's heart raced as she cautiously stepped deeper into the dimly lit hallway of Miss Steven Mansion. Shadows danced on the peeling wallpaper. Whispers echoed in her ears. <laughs> and a cold draft sent shivers down her spine. The air was heavy with anticipation. Mm, as if the house annoyed. itself... <laughs> as if the house itself <laughs> held its breath in anticipation of what was to come. With each creaking floorboard... <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> Ikea sells 10 packets. Not my ah. fun. That's good to know. That's so good to know. Uh, the more you know. <laughs> we need the sound effect for that. <laughs> With each creaking floorboard. Amelia's nerves grew more frayed, yet her curiosity propelled her forward. She rounded a corner to find a grand staircase reaching skyward. Its once elegant banister, now weathered and cracked. That happened. As her hand grazed <laughs> in surface. If it doesn't get moisturizing. Almost, yeah. Get <laughs> cobweb. As, as her hand graced its surface, she could almost feel the ghostly touch of Countless hands. Oh, I had ascended those very steps. <laughs> oh, all them hands. All those hands just as <laughs> just wandering around. <clears throat> Ascending the staircase, her footsteps muffled by the thick layer of dust. Muff. Right. She got some dust that needs to be cleaned. Yeah, and really sensed the presence. <laughs> yeah, got all them cobwebs in there. <laughs> Turning her head, she caught a glimpse of a figure at the end of the hallway. The stranger's silhouette was shrouded in darkness, their features indistinguishable, yet a strange aura enveloped them. It was as if time stood still in their presence, freezing the very air around them. Feeling a mixture of unease and fascination, Amelia followed the exotic stranger. Each step brought her closer to the truth, the elusive answer that lay hidden within the depths of Miss Taven. Deep. The stranger's form seemed to glide effortlessly through the mansion, guiding Amelia deeper into deeper. the labyrinthian corridors. <laughs> <laughs> As they reached a room bathed in the ethereal blue glow, Amelia's breath caught in her chest. <gasps> mm, the calm before the storm and the release. <laughs> the, <laughs> the walls were adorned with faded portraits, their gazes piercing through the layers of dust and neglect. It felt as though the eyes of the long departed were watching her every move. Watching silently. Yeah, well, you know, Urging. I'm a watcher. Mm. Urging. <laughs> Urging. <laughs> silently urging her to uncover the secrets they held. Mm. Within this room, a desk stood as the keepers of forgotten veils or of forgotten tales. With a single candle casting a flickering light, the stranger gestured, gestured, Jesus, the stranger gestured for Amelia to approach. Come and ahead. as she did, the room seemed to breathe with mm. anticipation. Mm. Yes. Yes. The desk, yeah. held a, <laughs> the desk held a bundle of yellowed letters, their fragile pages preserving the whispers of the past. Whispers. Whispers. <laughs> Sorry. As Amelia delicately unfolded one of the letters, its faded ink revealed a tale of love and loss, of haunting, regrets, and a longing for redemption. <laughs> Her heart swelled with a mix of sorrow and empathy. 
connected to the souls who had left their mark on the mansion's history. <laughs> you started it. Oh, behave. Oh, oh, behave. I, Amelia realized that the exotic <laughs> stranger had vanished, leaving only the echoes of their presence behind. She felt an overwhelming need to honor the voices of the forgotten, to piece together their stories and offer solace in their restless spirits. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. 